Good morning dear students hope you all are doing good today let us take a look at a question from the book pathfinder and uh, the chapter simple harmonic motion this question was requested by one of the students in the youtube comments section so let us move on and analyze the question in the arrangement shown two blocks of masses m and 2m affixed on the ends of springs of force constant 2k and k are held at rest so these are the two blocks this is of mass m the spring is of spring constant 2k and this is of mass 2m and this is of spring constant k as you can see the spring is a lot thicker so more spring constant this is much thinner less spring constant these both springs are made of the same material so you can see the material which i have used is similar in these two springs next the other end of the springs are affixed on fixed supports so these two ends of the springs are fixed to these supports relax length of each spring is l distance between the supports is 2l size of the blocks is negligible and the floor is frictionless so the natural length of this spring and this spring is l the separation between the supports is 2l the block size is negligible but uh, i have given it the size proportional to the mass so that it is easy for you to visualize and the floor on which they are sliding is frictionless next initially the blocks are held distance l apart compressing the springs identically so initially the separation between the blocks is l and these two springs are compressed equally and the compression in them will be l by 2 after the blocks are released the rush towards each other collide head on and stick to each other so let us release the blocks so you can observe here after they collide they stick to each other and they move as one mass find the maximum speed of blocks in the ensuing oscillations so i want you to look once more and predict where could be the maximum speed of the blocks occurring see you can say that the maximum speed occurs when the combined mass is at the center when the springs both these springs are at their natural length so let us now look at the oscillation of these two blocks individually if these two blocks were to oscillate individually the angular frequency of this would be root k by 2m and this would be to root 2k by m which means if the angular frequency of this spring block system is omega then this spring block system will be 2 into omega let us now visualize each of these oscillations independently as both these blocks have the same amplitude and this has more angular frequency what i want you to notice is that this blocks moves a little faster than this one the average speed of this is a little more than this as we saw previously the average speed of this block is greater than this block when these two blocks collide they will collide to the left of the center so if this is the center they will collide to the left of it so let us have a look if x1 is a displacement of 2m and x2 is a displacement of m we can say x1 plus x2 equal to l first consider mass 2m its distance from the mean position initially is l by 2 we can say at time t its distance from the mean position will be l by 2 cos omega t so we can say x1 this x1 is l by 2 minus l by 2 cos omega t so i have written here l by 2 minus l by 2 cos omega t similarly x2 equals to l by 2 minus l by 2 cos 2 omega t putting equations 2 and 3 in 1 we get cos omega t equals to 1 by 2 and cos 2 omega t equals to minus 1 by 2 
Now let us find the speeds of both the blocks during collision. See this is x1, so dx1 by dt will be the speed of this block. So we can find the speed of uh, this first block v1 equals to dx1 by dt which is equal to root 3 l omega by 4 once we keep these values. The speed of this block during collision is v2 equals to root 3 l omega by 2. We come to a very important conclusion here v2 equals to 2v1 which means if the speed of this block 2m is v1 and the speed of m during collision is 2v1. We can observe here that the combined momentum of these two blocks just before collision is 0. As it is a perfectly inelastic collision, the speeds of this combined mass after collision will be 0. So just after collision, the speed of the combined mass is 0. From x1 and x2, we can get the compression in this spring is L by 4 and the extension in this spring is L by 4 at the time of collision of the blocks. We can say the spring potential energy during collision equals the maximum kinetic energy of the blocks after collision. Whatever spring potential energy is available now goes into the kinetic energy of the combined mass. So the spring potential energy during collision is half k L by 4 square plus half k 2k L by 4 whole square equals the maximum kinetic energy of the combined mass. Solving this, we get the maximum speed of the combined masses L by 4 under root k by m. So the maximum velocity of the combined mass occurs here. I want you to observe that. I'll again play the animation.